Okay, I'm just finishing up the last bit of lashing on this rope bed that I made. I wanted to show you. Now this one, I um, already found a home. So this one is no longer available. Let me just tie this here and I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's made entirely from pine logs that I cut down from a neighbor's house. There we go. And then I hewed them, stripped the bark, hewed them, and then uh, mortise and tendon. It's made with um, hemp and manila rope. Just intertwine. All of the joints on this are square, square mortise and tenon. And then what I did is just in traditional rope bed style, I uh, put holes in the front and the back rail, and then I also continued it up to the upper rail. So you put cushions on this. Um, you know, any type of an outdoor cushioning would work unless you plan on taking them in. So it serves as a bed, a single size bed, or it's more like a day bed. You plop, you know, pillows up on the back. It's a really fun piece. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, like I said, this one already found a home, so, and my next one I promised my wife I'd make for her, for Holly. And then, um, we got a couple orders, I think, maybe for a few more, but, um, just wanted to show this to you. The process is a lot of the things that I show you on my videos. Some of the other videos that I've put up there show you the techniques that I've used to make this bed. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show it to you because maybe you'll get some ideas on some things you can do. I have made these. You guys, have, um, some of you have seen one that I've made where it's just a headboard and a footboard without the back. And I made it double size so it's for two people. It's a rope bed. And uh, I generally use for the corner posts, I make them pretty, pretty wide. So you get like a big wide oak put some get some big knots in it or something they're really cool um, so that's it just about finished up I want to show it to you before I say goodbye to it I said it's found a home <laughs>